Hello, my name is Lauren Bruno. You might know me at Hypnolution. And it's my mission as a hypnotherapist and energy healer to help spiritual romantics release pain, shame, and guilt from trauma and really transform that into their power. A lot of the times we grow up and we don't feel safe. So we give our power away. But where our pain resides is truly the anchor point to how much our soul has a depth to it. And we can't bypass ignorantly thinking that we don't carry trauma or we don't have any trauma. Because the fact of the matter is that most people have some form of trauma, whether that's religious, whether that's from their upbringing. Um, at a collective level, we're still carrying trauma, suffering, anxiety, pain, depression, anger, resentments, addiction, obsessions, fantasies. And so it is part of my mission for us to come back to joy, pleasure, presence, and understanding that we are all one at a collective level. So whether we heal our trauma through meditations or breath work or tough love coaches, following our intuition and our inner guide is the most important thing we can do without putting any gurus on pedestals and asking for permission, just like we did when we were brought up, we ask for permission from the parental units. We need to understand that it's time to stop asking for permission and start creating through our joy, through our creative gifts, and through our heart. So I'd like to share a meditation and hypnosis. Everything's hypnosis. Everything we're surrounded by is hypnotic. What we're listening to, the podcasts, the movies, the books we're reading, the music we're entranced in, that's hypnotic. Our brainwave states when we wake up, when we go to bed, right before, that's hypnosis. You're in a different brainwave state. When your conscious mind is focused on something else and your subconscious is maybe driving to work, that's where the subconscious mind is automatically doing something while the conscious mind is completely somewhere different. So at a collective level, what is our subconscious doing? What are we automatically responding to? And how can we fuel that energy and direct it towards something for a greater good? people of color, BIPOC, stand up for themselves and create in the world, it's a duty and an honor to support that. Equal rights, no matter your color of your skin, no matter if you identify as male, female, bisexual, pansexual, lesbian, gay, non-binary, And when we're on this path of oneness, we we balance those masculine and feminine polarities. And this is a new age term. So the understanding of it needs to be deeper. And as a hypnotherapist, our left brain is the logical mathematical side, the male side. And our right brain is that creative, abstract, side, the female side, and in shamanism it's opposite in the bodies, and our Vedas, our channels that send and receive information, our organs in our body, our our chakra system, is emitting a frequency, and so to truly balance the hot and the cold of 
these channels, the masculine and the feminine, we are constantly regulating our emotions as we're meeting new people, as we're playing with our energy with other people, and as we're mastering our own energy and our own emotions through non-reaction, through presence, and through our centered connections. And so, sometimes there may be an identity crisis that comes out, especially if we experience trauma. We can be disassociated from our bodies when triggers come up. And so one of the most important things in presence is to be more in tune with our bodies and our emotions. And so this is what this meditation is all about. Meditation hypnosis. Um, hypnotherapy is a more directive, purposeful realm into the subconscious to rewire your belief systems and safety. Meditation is more general, right? So for the intention of regulating your emotions and being more presently within, playful with your inner child, embodied in your sexuality, and less afraid to be who you are authentically in that masculine, in that feminine polarity. So with that, take a seat or lie down, wiggle out any wiggles. <laughs> Shake out the hands. If you're feeling a little slower, roll out the neck. some nice cleansing, really deep belly breaths. And start to anchor in your frequency, meaning send an energetic cord from your root, from the tip of your tailbone, down deep, 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 deep into Mama Gaia. And imagine crystal emerald heart at the center of the earth and that your anchor, your cord is directly connected to it. Breathe that in. Let out an audible sigh. Beautiful, just like that. Bringing up that frequency from the core of the earth and imagining that that's moving back up into your feet, relaxing all of your muscles in your feet, unraveling any tension in the muscles of the legs. that in whenever you need to. Moving that energy up into your genitals. Circulating that energy. Breathing that fueling breath in. Imagining almost like a spiral of energy swirling around, cleansing and clearing any dense, stagnant energy. Really coming into presence here, any thoughts that come up, release, any distractions, allow them to bring you deeper into relaxation, into presence. Now moving that energy 
of the spinal cord. of your needs, connecting that heart and that throat to be clearer, concise, consistent.
opening up the crown to allow in only light of the highest divine timeline moving up 13 dimensions bringing in a golden energy of abundance wisdom and prosperity connecting to the source the one all that is bringing the energy down sparkling shining throughout your whole entire auric field extending your energy down your body, now as you tap back in, knowing anything you feel is here to be clear, come back into the heart, imagining a spiral staircase takes you deeper into the subconscious. start to notice how you'd like to approach one of the most important parts of yourself that needs to be nourished today. What 
does this version of you want to tell you? Tap into this. As you approach them, how do they respond? How can you help them to feel more comfortable? What do they need to tell you? They can share this in a symbol, words. about joy when you hear the word joy what sensation arises in the body what is this inner version of you experience feel hear see know when the word joy comes up If able 
and you forgive them. You'll always be there for them. Always and forever. Expanding an unlimited potentiality of your being. support you on your journey. 